Football shirts. Some can be good, some can be bad. But have you ever heard of the band? In 1992, Fiorentino wore this shirt for their away kits. I'll let you guys figure out why this kit was bad though. Still don't know? Let's zoom in a little bit. Still now? Alright, one more zoom. Alright, so if you haven't gotten it yet, think 1939 Germany. It's a good looking shirt, but once you see the symbol, it's f***ing everywhere on the shirt. Fiorentina had actually worn this shirt throughout an entire half of a season until eventually it was banned for, you know, obvious reasons. Their shirt is also incredibly expensive as it is very rare to find. In 2014, Palestino FC used a kit that featured the number one being replaced with the map of Palestine before the UN voted on partition of the region in 1947. Chile is home of one of the largest Palestinian communities outside of the Middle East, and the club Palestino FC was actually founded by Palestinian immigrants in 1920. After three matches of this kit being used, the Chilean Football Association banned the kit and also fined the club $1,300. The kit angered a few, including the Israeli government, who saw it as an intention to deny the existence of Israel. Palestino FC on their Facebook page stated, For us, free Palestine will always be historical Palestine, nothing less, adding the map has existed as a symbol since 1920. Bedale Association Football Club has been known for their very wacky kits. Hell, I think they just released one of the first ever transparent kits this year. Thanks to their partnership with Heck Foods, their kit sales, advertisements, all that kind of stuff go towards raising awareness for prostate cancer in the UK. But in 2019, the FA decided to ban one of Bedale's kits, their sausage kit. Why? Because the FA are As said before, Bedale FC has done incredible work with Heck Foods. They've raised over £200,000 for Prostate Cancer UK through kit sales, advertising, and other fundraising initiatives. This one's a little bit more recent. Last year, FC MN released their brand new kits. They look pretty standard. Why would these exactly be banned? The sponsor. The sponsor is a sex toys company. The Dutch Football Association weren't exactly that happy about the sponsor, as they banned it for a while. But then after some backlash, the Dutch FA decided to reverse their ban. But since this kit was banned, that's why I'm putting it in this video. And also because it's a sex toys company. In 2016, Nike produced one of the worst templates known to men. France released a slightly more unique design in comparison to their European counterparts. The issue was, France's away kit doesn't actually fall under UEFA kit regulations. Both sleeves have to be the same color unless the shirt has one of these five designs. This resulted in France having to change up their sleeves. Those differentiating reds and blues were changed up to a very dull gray that looked like England's home kits. Cameroon were a powerhouse in African football during the early 2000s. And what made them stand out even more were their shirts in the African Cup of Nations in 2002. The infamous sleeveless kit. Cameroon even won their fourth African Cup of Nations in this kit as well. But FIFA on the other hand, weren't really that happy. They're not shirts, they're vests, said FIFA spokesman Keith Cooper. FIFA banned these kits, which resulted in Cameroon having to wear undershirts to make it look like a normal shirt. But it doesn't end there. Cameroon said a huge f you to FIFA and wore onesie kits. These pissed off Sepp Blatter, but Cameroon didn't care, as they wore these throughout the 2004 African Cup of Nations. FIFA threatened to sue the Cameroon Football Association, and also docked them points in the 2006 qualifiers. But once Puma came forward with a lawsuit of their own, FIFA pulled it out, and that was the end of it. This Argentinian shirt was intended for the 1994 World Cup in the United States, and it was banned by the Argentine FA president because of one thing. Black Stripes. In 2013, people may not know about this, but there is a Brazilian shirt that is full blackout, and it looks sick. But it never saw the light of day, as Brazil's FA actually have quite the policy on tradition. Brazil can only wear a yellow home shirt and a blue away shirt. I, I won't speak though. Nike were still at least able to release these in limited numbers, so they are out there somewhere. In 2018, Nike was about to release one of the most stunning shirts I have ever seen. But right before the official release of the so-called Black Dragon shirt, the Chinese FA stepped in and rejected it. There's still slightly a mystery as to why this was the case, but things can kind of come down to culture. Many have said the reason for its rejection was the dragon design itself, a very sacred creature in China. Others say it could be the color of black itself, which is not exactly a nice color for the Chinese. It's considered unlucky and a representation of death and destruction. It is unfortunate, but culture is 
culture. No matter how stunning the shirt is, respect for the culture always has to come first. The shirt is still out there though due to the ban coming late, but they are very rare to come across. Before Nike released, one of the rare sights of an actual good looking Barcelona away shirt. They had this design. It's not a bad looking design, and honestly, I kind of like it a bit. The shirt is inspired by the St. George's Cross, which you can also see on the badge itself. It was ultimately rejected though, because as we all know, the Blaugrana have that one very fierce rival. I'm pretty sure they wear white. But it should be known that Barcelona have worn white in the past. White Barcelona shirts were actually abolished in the mid 70s though. And those were 10 banned football shirts. If you have any other wacky ideas for kit videos that I can produce, please leave them down below. And if you would, follow my Twitter and my Instagram for any video updates and all that kind of stuff. Follow my TikTok, I'm trying to get to 5,000, and also follow my Twitch if you want. Until then, I'll see you guys.